What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about the new banner slash some information that we got. So if you guys don't know, the new banner coming out is apparently Blue Nunchuck Bond, which is this bond right here. Um, inflicts damage equal to 240% of attack to one enemy. Uh, cancel stances, 300% attack. Cancel stances, 500% attack. Cool. Moving on to the second card. Inflicts damage equal to 180% of attack to one enemy. Decreases defense-related stats by one turn. Rank 2, 180, decreases defense-related stats by, you know, 3 for one turn. And then 300% increased defense-related stats by 40%. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the same card Valenti has, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, one, 180 for 20, 180 for 30, 300 for 40. It's the same exact one that Valenti has. Anyways, uh, moving on, inflicts damage equal to 350% of attack to one enemy, extorts 50% attack and defense for two turns. Um... Okay, cool. Nothing crazy. It's the same one as the other bond. Then it's passive. Increases defense by 50% of all ally of all enemies' defense. Now, this bond doesn't make any sense, right? Number one, uh, this is his damage card. Cool. We get it. Uh, the second card decreases defense-related stats, but you want their defense to be high so you can take it. So he contradicts himself already. Not to mention, um, you could have just made this card more damage. Like this could just have been a damage card as well. Cause because like with with the case of Valenti, Valenti is raw, like raw utility. You are not using her for damage at all. She has defense down, she has attack down, right? And then if they buff themselves, she can hit them with double damage. And this takes down their re resistance. She's all utility. But when it comes to Bond, you kinda uh, you, you damage them. I mean, this being a defense down is whatever, but it's like it kind of contradicts your passive. Not to mention, like Bond isn't going to be used for utility, not over like a lot of different units. He's just all over the place. Like, if you guys don't know, this banner is a skip. Like, 100%, no discussion. This is a skip. Now, I know some of you guys like Bond. If you like Bond, use Coin Shop Bond. Uh, along with him getting his banner. Bond is getting UR gear. So, hey, if, if Bond your favorite character, just use you just use Coin Shop Bond. That's the best case scenario, right? Literally, just use Coin Shop Bond. Uh, Red Bond's not that bad either. He just doesn't have any debuffs, which is dumb. But I mean, I don't know. Um, now. Now that we've got that out the way, right? That's the, um, they also added a Scrapmaster Giant Hockey event. If you guys don't know, the Giant Hockey event was an event that was on JP, um, not too long ago, pretty recently. But the reason why it was on JP is, um, you can grind this event and get extra, like, headpieces for Mikasa, Aaron, and Levi, right? Levi and Aaron, I believe, get, like, the, the cleaning headpiece. And then you have, uh, Mikasa with... Some, I forgot what she gets, but um, I think her headpiece is really uh, really cool if I remember correctly. But yeah, so we're getting the um, giant hawk event. We're getting a new hero and pickup, which is the bond. Then 7 Daily Sin special draw event. Now, my video last night, I talked about this being a like draw event as in tickets, which I was, I, I was wrong apparently. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is, well, a lot of people have been speculating that this is going to be a 7 Daily Sin 7% banner. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a 7% banner with all of the 7 Deadly Sins uh, coin shop versions and then one of their summonable versions. If that is the case, oh my god. Listen, I know y'all are talking about Las Vegas Meliodas and y'all talking about Derriere and all of this, but this banner is the banner for people to get dupes on. It is a 7% SSR chance banner, right? Like, if you guys don't understand what that means, if you look at this banner, this banner has a 3% chance to get a unit. If you look at any banner in the game, it has a 3% chance for you to get the unit. The banner that we're talking about that might come out is 7%, meaning that it's over double the amount of percent to get that like for coin shop units like as free to play look as a free to play player if you're able to summon for coin shop units on a overdub bro 
Listen, I my my king is 6'6, six, six, right? If we look at coin shop units, Merlin 6'6, six, six, Golter 6'6, six, six, King is 6'6, six, six, Deanne is 4'6. My Meliodas is 1'6. My Bond is 1'6. If this banner comes out, I'm summoning. Am I gonna do Bond? Y'all already know the answer. No. Um I need two dupes of Deanne. If they be if they bring out Red Escanor, boy. If they bring Red Escanor in that banner, I'm on it. Um, along with Green Escanor, because those are the only two. That that's fire. I don't know if they will. Um, am I gonna am I gonna do Red Demon Meliodas? Eh, I might. I don't know. But what I do know, boy, this banner. I'm telling y'all, this banner. If, if that banner comes out, that's gonna be amazing. That banner is going to be. Whew, I'm in there. Uh, I also now have over 3,000 gems. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, like a lot of people have been talking about it. And if, if we go look at every unit that's going to be, be on it, right? It's probably going to be this bond, um, and maybe blue, this bond right here. I mean, I, I doubt they'd put like blue nunchuck bond on the banner whenever they're trying to, uh, you know, do it. But yeah, you, we always have coin shop bond, uh, and they'll probably put this blue bond right here. They might put red nunchuck bond. I don't know who they'd put on for bond anyways. But, um, there's that. Then if you go look at Meliodas. For Meliodas, they could honestly do Coin Chop Meliodas and Blue Demon Meliodas. I mean, I have no idea. Because, um, the first time this came around on JP, they did not have, um, all of the newer units on there. Because I don't even think all the newer units were out. But on the second one, they had, like, all the newer, like, Blue Demon Meliodas was on the banner, stuff like that. I mean, it's up in the air who they put on there. Uh, we have no clue. Obviously for King, um, they're gonna have Blue King, and then so that's the thing, right? They could put Green King, but I feel like they would put Red King. So like, um, that's if if they do all like part two units, all part two units for the um, units that come out, that's gonna be super amazing for everybody, right? Because instead of getting like Green Counter Meliodas. You're going to be getting Blue Demon Meliodas, which is just, is just going to make the banner that much more better. Now, like I said, I know a lot of people um, are going to be like, man, I got to skip. I got to skip Derriere, Las Vegas. Uh, if you guys don't know how the banner works, you can do 10 multis. Um, that's maximum. That's it. After 10 multis, the banner disappears. So you do 10 multis. Uh, obviously, it's 300 gems. 10 times 30, 300. Uh, so... I mean, I know a lot of you guys don't just have 300 gems sitting sitting around. Uh, but, for those of you that have been skipping all these banners that you should, and you do got 300, this might be a banner you want to throw a couple multis in. I'm not saying you got to do all 300, but, you know, test your luck. Maybe one or two multis. See if you come out with three or four SSRs or more. Um, trust me when I tell you, this is one of those banners that people are gonna think is a bait banner, which it kinda is, but like, some things are just too good to pass up, you know? Um, on on Blazing, there was a Minato banner that came out like a, a couple weeks before anniversary. That Minato is still to this day top tier in PvP. So many people skipped that banner, and then it just became an amazing, like he was just too good. Um, so yeah, back when I played Blazing, I skipped that banner one time. I, I skipped that banner. Um, so yeah, like, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, this banner is not something you want to skip out on. Now, um, obviously, with Deanne, they might bring out, if they bring out Green Deanne, eh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm probably not going to dupe her. I might dupe her. I don't know. She's my farmer. <laughs> I know how some of you guys feel, but it just that's just what it is. Um, if we were to go look, though, I feel like Blue Demon Meliodas is probably going to be on the banner with Red Demon Meliodas. I feel like Red King will be on there with Blue King. Um, I, I feel like Red Merlin's going to be on there with uh, Green Merlin. I feel like both of these DNs are probably going to be on there. Gother with Blue Gother, because that's the only other Gother in the game, obviously. Hopefully, I, I'm not sure, but hopefully we get red and green Escanor. If we get red and green Escanor, oh my goodness, that's amazing. All the people that skip red Escanor, that would be your chance to pull a red Escanor. So, keep that in mind. Um, 
that would be super crazy. And then obviously, like I said, Bond would, I'm not sure what Bond would get. He'd probably get blue, like melee Bond or red nunchuck Bond, either or. Um, I mean, obviously we have to, we don't know. We're not entirely sure. We'll have to obviously wait to see. But um, that would be super crazy if, if that's the 7 Deadly Sin 7% banner. So if it is, hey, you know what I'm saying? The choice is yours. I'm not your parent. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.